In life growing up, our parents always told us, you know what, you need experience. You need to go out and get a real job. You need experience so that you can eventually get one of those big paying jobs and you could be at the top of the food chain, you know, living the good life, having a lot of money. But the unfortunate part is a lot of companies somehow want you to have experience in any field that you go into. And the only real opportunity you might get is if you do an internship. But sometimes even those companies are like, hey, I know you want to come in here, but guess what? <laughs> you need experience. And it's like some of those stupid ass jobs that will like be like bare entry level. And then they'll be like, hey, we need 20 years of experience for an entry level fucking job. And you're like, how is that even possible? I, <laughs> I've barely been alive long enough to even get an ounce of that experience. So how are you going to have an entry level that requires like 10 plus years of experience when I haven't even been in the workforce long enough to get that type of experience or even find a company who's going to let me in. And when that happens, normally you go online. If anyone remembers Yahoo Answers, you might go on there, <laughs> type up your question, get a lot of the worst answers known to mankind, but it was a truly a great forum. But you know, there's one answer that always stood out. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, that is pretty much how life works now at this point. You just sit there and you tell someone, I know it. <laughs> why not I, I you know i sound smart right i sound in like an intellectual i got the credentials to back myself up and then no one ever really pushes you on it they just say hey, all right i mean you seem like you know what you're talking about come on in and that's exactly what happened with this lady who faked being a sign language interpreter for the tampa police it's now, happened again tonight. another sign language interpreter an accused of signing right. total gibberish <laughs> This time, it was at the police news conference announcing an arrest in the Tampa serial killings. We will be charging four counts of first-degree murder. Standing off to the side, apparently translating every word, this woman. We received over 5,000. <laughs> I'll just go. I had to stop. <laughs> I had to stop it there real quick. I'm going to be honest. If I was watching that live, I don't even know sign language. I know people in the comments said that she was doing like some of it right. And some of the rest of it was just like out of sync. But, <laughs> but I can tell you watching that. I know for a fact that wasn't like straight up sign language, at least from everything I've seen every time I watch like these official presentations. But I just found it funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, just seeing that shit live just doing random symbols and shit just at the rate she was going i was expecting her to start pulling some anime shit out her ass to start doing some like naruto shit pull out some anime little moves start doing some symbols and hope that people just be like damn god she's going crazy she she must be good at her job she's moving fast as fuck too she just got it going in hard tips in this case but it turns out much of what she was signing was nonsense. She waved her arms around like she was singing jingle bells, says one outraged sign language expert. The woman, identified as Derlin Roberts, has a string of arrests for fraud. So how did she come to be translating at last week's high profile police news conference? I just didn't ask enough questions. Tampa Police Public Information Officer Steve Hegarty told me really the woman simply showed up out of the blue and offered her services. My immediate reaction was, I didn't call for a sign language interpreter, but that's great that we have one here. I let her in. Did this woman appear to know what she was doing? To the untrained eye, and that would include mine, um, I didn't see any problems. This latest embarrassment comes questions. three months after it was revealed ball. that the sign language interpreter at our Hurricane Irma news conference, also in Florida, made yes. no sense. The time to act is now. Hegarty is summing up the latest goof. We won't be using that woman again. Cops say this was not a crime, but it was an ethical violation. I find it so ironic that police of all people you would think do a little bit more of their due diligence at least do a background check. Never even considered the idea of at least one doing a background check and then having someone to test her skills and make sure it was actually thorough and what she's doing is actually right. I I don't know. It's just so silly. Like, even though, yes, she did it for free and essentially all she did was troll people online. That, that's really what it, that's essentially what she did. She just trolled people live. She had people watching and she just did all the dumbest shit known to mankind and was able to say, hey, I got away with it. And she had at least five plus counts of fraud and you would think, police county would be like oh shit she that many well, i don't know if we want her she's probably gonna deceive us too she's probably lying to us i don't think she's actually a real interpreter if she got all that shit under her belt now if you feel like you've seen that clip before it's from 2017 at that time i didn't even know that happened and i only recently been brought to my attention from what i was reading it just started to go re-viral again i guess maybe there's like one point in time where it like went semi-viral and then it started getting on people's radar again sometime last year and the year before that and it just now went across mine so i just wanted to share it because it's some of the goofiest shit i've seen in a hot minute anyways you made this far into the video consider giving it a like subscribe to the channel Leave me a comment below what you think. Have a great day. Yeah.